Start. There's a thought. Lord, thank you for this time we can have today to talk about what's next for Calvary. We ask your richest blessing on what we do. May we bring honor and glory to you. May we understand better, Lord, your plan, your purpose for our lives. Thank you so much for your love and grace to us. Bless our time now. We bring it before you in Jesus' name. Amen. So obviously, we have been talking about at the feet of Jesus, at the feet of Jesus, at the feet of Jesus all day long. We're not going to pivot and do something else. We're just going to have at the feet of Jesus. Give that to Sharon if you would when you're done, Judy. Um, We're going to continue talking about that. Uh, We're going to continue to move in that direction. It is the way we understand to make disciples. So, in 2023, if we were to have a vision statement, we desire to be a church whose people are authentic Christians who are following their Lord and are growing as His disciples by sitting at His feet, serving Him, testifying of Him, interceding through Him, listening from Him, and worshiping Him. And thus are so deeply impacted by him that we in turn impact our world for him. So that's that's where we're going again. That's where we're going still. That's what we aspire to be. Those people who are sitting at the feet of Jesus. We do this under a very difficult backdrop. Not more difficult than the first century church by any means but difficult. American culture is hostily post-Christian. It's not just post-Christian, it's good to have you here, you believe what you believe, that's fine, it's anti-Christian. You know, uh, from from what, what we originally had as tolerance, tolerance, you don't, don't cause a a huge thing if you don't believe in same-sex marriage, just let's everyone live together. Let's live in harmony too. If you don't affirm same-sex marriage, we're after you. You're homophobic. And we could go down a, a, a multitude of things that are true in that regard. Church attendance and religious identification are declining steadily, and in some cases rapidly. Now, let's all blame it on the pandemic. It's the pandemic's fault. The pandemic only revealed what was already going on. Not the pandemic's fault. So when you blame it on the pandemic, you blame it on God. If God hadn't allowed a pandemic, churches would be, nah, you know, you know, you know what you're talking about. The pandemic exposed our Achilles heel. That people went to church without being committed. <gasps> Newsflash. Biblical Christianity is increasingly not biblical. In the wake of woke theology, there is a desire to get along with the culture. And so we have found ways to say that we've missed things in the Bible and we need to reinterpret things in the Bible so that you know, we don't make anybody mad. Sadly, Christians increasingly don't act like Christians. The Barna polls show us that, that the rates of things like divorce, uh, all kinds of other issues, Christians look the same as lost people. Number three, so you understand, that's why I was so intrigued with the idea of sitting at the feet of Jesus. It came out of a study that I did. But, It was out of a frustration that we weren't like Christ. The evangelical Christian church is no longer a viable entity as the church is in disarray. So we used to have something called the National Association of Evangelicals. Uh, All evangelicals signed a statement, not all, but most signed a statement, joined that organization for $30 a year uh, as a church. It was a, a, a great a group of people that worked together, did things together, that has all broken to pieces. And when I say the word evangelical Christian, many people go, (gasps) (gasps) and then self-appointed watchdog groups are devouring the church. In other words, 
would we all agree that the church is imperfect? You're sure of that, right? Well, the imperfect church has people within it who want to publicly, in front of the media and in front of everyone else, expose every small or large problem the church has. That's a great question, Judy. We should, we, we should not hide our sin from the world. But where I come from, you don't hang your dirty laundry out on the lawn, on, on, the, on the line. So we should please ourselves. We should do it firmly. We should do it strongly. We should not please ourselves in the public forum. It doesn't help. It doesn't help. If you, you, if you have an offense against your brother, go to him, and it's between you and him in the post. No. It's between you and him alone. 